This is Rachel reporting for BBC News School Report. So, Mr Chairman, what do you think caused the lack of bookings during the previous rowing world championships at Dorney Lake? Um, I think mainly there wasn't enough um, information, people were not really aware of what uh, uh, was actually happening. It wasn't uh, as public as the Olympic Games. Um, so at the end of the day, uh, that, that I think was, uh, was the main problem about it. And just a lack of information and, uh, and publicity uh, about the event. Okay. What are you going to do to prevent it happening again at, during the World Rowing Championships this summer and also the Olympic Rowing next year? Um, on our side, um, hotel wise, we've been uh, collaborating with um, uh, New Zealand's uh, Roy team, Olympic team. Uh, they've been coming here last year, um, hopefully, they will come here this year and for the Olympics as well. Obviously, we are going to talk to them, talk to them to find out exactly what uh, the plans are mm -hmm. and see if we can match their requirements because, as you know, obviously, uh, the athletes have got some specific requirements. Yeah. So, obviously, to perform, they need to be able to. Um, you know, they need to be able to be in the right uh, uh, environment. Um, during such big events, do you have any special recommendations to do? There's, there's quite, uh, quite a lot of work behind it, and especially um, um, regarding um, the F&B area, which is obviously talking about restaurants and, and bar. Um, because of the, we, we deal with the hotel, with the full hotel, um, during the whole year, but obviously regarding um, the, the outside area, especially in the summer time, obviously you're going to need to have uh, uh, more staff on and you're going to need to um, implement some, some other things which you normally don't have in normal summers. Yeah. Um, would you offer any special services such as daily transport to and from Dorney Lake? We will offer it um, in collaboration with uh, obviously the, the, the companies, the cab companies that work with us. Um, but it will be it will be not included on uh, on the, the moment. How many members of staff do you normally employ, and would you have to employ more workers during very busy times when you're fully booked? Um, overall, we've got about um, I would say between 15 and 55 people working during the summertime, and um, I think for the event we're probably going to need about um, I would say about 60. And more specifically, do you think that big rowing events, such as Olympic rowing next year, will bring prosperity to me ahead? I think any event um, bring prosperity to the physical place where they are situated and around the areas where uh, they normally are, especially because they make people talking about the area. And um, obviously when people talk about things, obviously there's more information, there's more publicity around the events and around the, the places and places. And as it is a lovely area, I think uh, it deserves it. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. This is Rachel for the Class School BBC School Report.